If you've got a business, you need a website. And what's the best way to get a website up and running? Choose a website hosting company that makes it simple, like Pair Networks. Pair has over 20 years of experience managing the entire digital ecosystem for thousands of online businesses all around the world. Pair makes it easy for you with do-it-yourself website building tools and features, including simple drag-and-drop page design. And they have guaranteed US-based support technicians ready to help whenever you need it, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Right now, when you sign up with Pair Networks, Works, you'll receive one free month of website hosting. See for yourself how easy it is to build your website for free. Visit pair.com slash free to get your first month of website hosting for free by using the code quickstart. That's pair.com slash free promo code quickstart to get started today. Hey, and welcome to the Heavy Sweater Podcast. My name is John King. If this is your first time listening, this is the Heavy Sweater Podcast, a deep dive in the beginnings of musicians and bands of the heavy variety. This week, we have a new guest, like every week, so it's fucking stupid for me to say. Um, a really good friend of mine for a really long time. Uh, we don't really catch up as much as we used to because we're in a band together, but um, yeah, Zach McKinley from Isla Vera, formerly of I the Divide, formerly of Enslaver. Um, fucking great dude. Miss him all the time. I have all the time in the world for those guys in Divide. Um, in the very first episode, I said that there are some friends I've made for a lifetime, and the people in either Divide are definitely those people. All four of them. Um, ben, Zach, Shane, and Zach. All, <laughs> both Zachs. But yeah, um, we didn't even touch on Young Boy. That's what we called him for, like, ages, was Young Boy. Because he was the youngest person in the band. So we called him Young Boy. Um... But yeah, so we get into like his beginnings in heavy music. We spend like the first like, 15 minutes talking about gear. So if you're a gear nerd, you'll love that shit. Um, yeah. So we talk about gear, we talk about music, what got him into bands, what got him playing in bands. Uh, we touch on like the end of Divide a little bit. Um, it's something that like I'll eventually speak about. But yeah, it was a messy situation and none of us really wanted it to end like that. And it was out of our control completely. Um... And for a long time, it made me incredibly depressed and incredibly uh, frustrated and incredibly angry. And I almost gave up on music completely. If if it wasn't for what occurred after that, I probably wouldn't have started Shokan. And I wouldn't be playing music and I wouldn't have this podcast and I wouldn't talk to bands about music and I wouldn't be creatively fulfilled and emotionally fulfilled and everything that I am now so um yeah it was a rough time so that's me just opening up but yeah this is the heavy sweater podcast featuring Zach McKinley it is Sunday and you know what that means Hey man. Hey man. What's up, buddy? <laughs> Not much, mate. How are you? Good. We haven't had a like proper chat in ages. Yeah, it's probably what been Jesus, like a few years, maybe. Yeah, I think like when was our last show? 2018? I think it was something, yeah, something like that. Something backroom crazy. lycanthrope. Probably. Yeah. Sensei as well, I'm pretty sure. Yes, I think yeah. that was one of the last ones that we did. I think that was definitely the because the one before that was the the weird goths at the crowbar. Yes, yeah, yes. And- <laughs> yeah. That was on a good Mother- show though. It was great on Mother's Day. It was a fucking sick show. Yeah, I was uh, like, they were like, they were cool dudes too. What yeah, what happened to them? Uh, I don't know. Mm. Have no. I think actually they they went to do like a oh we're back thing and then nothing happened. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, just that class. That was that was yeah. That was a fun show though. To be fair, yeah, like it it, it popped off. Crowbar was the most fun venue. Yeah, I don't know why they closed it down. Like that's the most disappointing thing that I've ever heard. Because now Brisbane, like the venues in Brisbane, it's so limited now. But, yeah, there's I mean, like King Lear's, the Zoo, Greaser, and Brightside. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Uh, 
Uh, well, they're supposed to be reopening a foundry or something too, I think. I've heard, oh, that'd be sick, but I've heard they're supposed to be doing this so many times and I'm just like, yeah. I'll see what happens. Well, that's it. Like, because we played, shit, we played the foundry like not long before. I say not long before, but it was like a year before it closed. Okay. Um, we played there with um, I the Mighty, which was fun. Oh, yeah. I think yeah, I remember that seeing a... that poster and being like, cool. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I didn't know who we were playing with until like a couple of days before. I love James was like, yeah, he was like talking about I the Mighty and I was like, hold up, what? And he's like, yeah, yeah, we're playing a show with I the Mighty. And I was like, my mind was blown because I was like super into that band at the time. Yeah. I mean, they're still pretty sick. Like I still, I still get around their music a fair bit, but at that time I was just like losing my mind. Yeah. <laughs> Sick. Yeah. Yeah. I think like when was that? That was like 2019, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Cause yeah. like 2019 was like the final nail in the coffin for Divide. Yeah. It was yeah. done after that. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, you know, tried to uh I've tried to approach the uh the other boys to be like, should we do a reunion? But uh you yeah. haven't, oh, you messaged me once about it. I was like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I've got no gear now. I have literally no drum gear now. No, that's fair. Because, yeah, I mean, you're, you're doing the bass thing and the guitar thing now, which is, yeah, fuck a yeah. much, which is a much better job, in my opinion. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I tell every yeah. drummer, I'm like, it's the most thankless fucking job. You get treated like shit yeah. all the time. You're going to lug your gear everywhere. And then vocalists yep. stand around and they're like, I don't know how to help you. <laughs> they're like i've arrived with uh nothing nothing <laughs> literally nothing. nothing not even a merch box i've just rocked no. up yeah no literally literally but yeah i mean yeah i don't know i've never played drums in a in a perfect like a proper band i played drums back in school with like my little high school band but yeah i remember that because you'd, you'd yeah. be the only person in the band that would get on my drums and not shit the bed yeah yeah, yeah I, yeah. I mean, I, I wanted to buy a kit a little while ago. Like I wanted yeah. to go buy like a, um, it was like a Roland fucking oh. like TDK or something, TDX yeah. or something Fuck like that. Yeah. yeah. We, it was like 14 inch snare. Like it was sick. Oh, but then yes. I just, I just lost interest in it. I was like, nah. <laughs> That's fair. I get like that too. I'm like, oh, maybe I want to buy a new drum kit. And then I'm like, but I just found a cool bass. Or yeah, I just well, found a cool guitar. <laughs> yeah. Well, it was around the time that I found my mayonnaise because I was Ooh. like, yeah, I bought a mayonnaise not too long ago that some guy was selling on Marketplace. He was like a left-handed guitar player, but he had this right-handed um, what? mayonnaise <laughs> setius. Yeah. <laughs> what the and, fuck? Um, oh, dude, I went to this guy's house, right? So... Yeah. He was like, oh, yeah, yeah. It was um, super cheap, like crazy cheap for what it is actually worth. Yeah, but he's um, clearly lost with the right-handed guitar deal. Yeah. Well, he was like, oh, I bought it so that, you know, whenever people came around, they could jam on it and whatnot. But, um, yeah, he's just like, oh, just because of COVID and whatnot, like people just don't, like, you know, I'm not having any luck with it. So what the thought fuck? I'd sell it. Yeah. But, dude, he had some, like, real crazy boutique amps and like what? this ten thousand dollar mayo that he had custom built it was insane um, psycho. <laughs> yeah dude i was like this what? is nuts like where do you get this money from he had kids and shit too i was like what is going oh, on the seno payment bro it's getting the custom oh. mayonnaises yeah right get got his super out and everything <laughs> yeah fuck yeah get the covid super and the fucking the re super. rebate from the government in the beginning they're like you've got kids and no job and you're a crackhead have double settling <laughs> payment how's that for you have, have 20 grand out of your super champion sounds yeah, good fucking sick yeah, yeah. that's fucked. fuck yeah yeah but um yeah and then i don't know what happened now like i lost interest in wanting to play drums again and now for some reason um i went from having three guitars to now having seven that fucking happens man yeah. legit legit yeah. <laughs> i'm in the same boat and i just picked up that atk the other day and i'm like oh fuck yeah yeah no i um i just got a majesty I only oh, bought a majesty sick yeah, yeah i 
Oh, mate, it is nuts. Like, oh, yeah, I had to drive down to the Gold Coast to get it. Cause, oh. So you, do you know the, mu- the riffs, at, riffs and Licks, the music store? Yes. Yeah, I bought yes. a uh, baritone case from there for my Ibanez. Yeah, fuck yeah. Yeah, they're always so good in there. Like, yeah. I went in there and I was like, hey, have you guys got this in stock? And they were like, oh, it's at our Gold Coast store. And I was like, say no more. I'll drive down there <laughs> right now and get it. So that's what I did. <laughs> that's fucking got wild. Got down there man. within like, yeah, got down there within like 20 minutes of them closing. Oh, yes. Just in time, Honestly. that last sale. Yeah, literally. Like I called the guy before I went there. I was like, hey, man, um, I want to, I'm coming down. I'm going to get this guitar. He's like, yeah, no worries, mate. We'll just wait for you. Like, it's all good. And then I bought it. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Sick. But, well, well, I need it. I need to get it like set up and stuff, but yeah, I haven't done that yet. Yeah, I don't know. I think um, I've got a little bit of a problem when it comes to guitars. At least it's not like drugs, but... No, yeah, definitely. I'd rather yeah. have a guitar issue than a, a drug problem. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And that's the way that I look at it, you know? So you've still got this guitar issue because you had it back in 2017. Oh yeah, I'm a bit of a I'm a bit of a guitar whore, really. Yeah. Well, um, I remember you were like the first guy getting around with that fucking the RGD with the the green and blue. Yeah. Dude, such a cool guitar. I don't so know why sick. the fuck I ever got rid of that. Yeah, so. I've been like hunting them down, and like people that do sell them sell them appropriately priced. Oh yeah, they sell oh, them yeah. like close to retail price, and I'm like, can you not? Yeah. Like, can you just not be worth, desperate? Like, yeah, they're worth like a pretty penny now. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't know why I ever sold it. Like it was such a sick guitar. Like and then you went to the bad. the Ben Weinman. Yeah, like yeah. Well, I, it wasn't his sig, but it was like the same sort of oh, the X style. Yeah, it was the X tone one. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, like baby blue colored one. Yeah, that one. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, that thing was sick. Also, yeah, the, I the got rid thin of line telly as well back then. Yes, yes, I did. The wood grain. Don't have one. that anymore. Yeah, yeah, got rid of that too. <laughs> Every guitar you had in Divine, you now what no longer have. Pretty much, man. Yeah. Oh, like I've one. got I'm looking at them now. I've got a Chapman ML1 Pro, which is pretty sick. Fuck yeah. Um, and then I've got like a PRS custom 24. I've got a bloody Jim Root uh telly. Squire or got, Fender? Uh, it's just a squire one, yeah, but yeah, yeah. still still rips. Like. Yeah, fuck oh fuck paying like four times the price for EMGs put in the guitar. Well, I, I mean I could just buy them myself and put them in. Like that's exactly the thing that I was like, oh, you know, it doesn't really matter what's on the headstock, but <laughs> like it was the the guitar that I wanted. Yeah. Um, and then I've got yeah, like a headless legator, the majesty. <laughs> uh, yeah, that thing's weird. It's so strange, man. It feels like a toy. Is that one of them, like, they're, like, cooked shapes and they almost have, like, no body at all as well? Kind of. Um, Like, it's it's pretty sick. Like, it's I think it must be, like, a shorter scale length because it looks really short in comparison to my other guitars. But I don't know. It's it's pretty sick. Yeah, it plays really nicely. That's good. Yeah, but... Yeah, then I've got my Charvel and my Mayo. So it's not bad. You got Mm. quite a collection. I know. Yeah. I've been through a few. Definitely. Yeah, it's a bit (laughs) of a it's a bit of a problem really, but it's all right. Yeah, it's better than something else. Yeah. Well, man, we'll get into like everything with you. We'll stop talking about gear and shit (laughs) because Gear's sick. I could talk about gear for so ages. Good. But like, it's just a musician thing. Like if you play music, you're like, yeah, I could talk about gear for so long. But like, if yeah. you're not a musician, you're like, I don't care. This means nothing understand. to me. Scale. Yeah. What is the scale length? Like, what is that? Yeah. Um, what, do, what do these things mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know that riff go dun dun and that's it. <laughs> um, yes. String go bump bow. Yeah. Um, so we'll go into the beginning for music for you and like what, cause I've never even asked you this the entire time we've known each other. What's yeah. the first like sort of heavy ish band you remember hearing? Um, I think it was like back in the day of having to like leave your phone next to your computer to be able to record like a song or a ringtone. Yeah. And I think it was, 
I think the first like heavy, heavy song that I heard that I was like, oh, this is pretty sick was um, Six by All That Remains. Don't Whoa. know if you've heard that song. Yeah. yeah. Like, back, <laughs> what a fucking back when, random band. Yeah, right. I was like, it popped up on um, like my mate's fucking YouTube or something one day. And he's like, oh, you should listen to this. I was like 12 or 13 at the time. Yeah. Um, and he's like, yeah, listen to this. And I was like, yeah, I don't mind that. And then sort of from there, it just sort of blossomed. Like I went into, I went through a really like heavy bullet stage. Yep. Um, of, like of course was, you did. I feel like everybody. Oh, did. yeah. Oh, dude, The Poison, such a good album. Like, Great so good i don't think that it really compares to anything that's like out at the moment but you know really? it was well i mean there's some good stuff that's come out but i think that album has always just like stuck in the back of my mind as being like you know just the the riffs on that album and yeah. like cr- yeah. and then the brixton dvd to accompany it yeah yeah so that dvd is so good so good um but yeah, it just sort of went from there and got into Bullet. And um, then sort of when I was in high school, I went through like, obviously the Sleeping With Sirens, Pierce the yeah. Veil pa- like the phase. The Warp Tour phase. Yeah, the Warp Tour bands phase. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then, you know, just sort of went a bit everywhere, really. Um, oh. Yeah. And then uh, is Bullet the band that makes you want to pick up a guitar? Um, I mean, they were for a long time. Okay. Um, like obviously, so my, my dad's a bit of an Aussie bloke. Like he listened to a lot of like ACDC and yeah. like all of that sort of stuff. So all dad songs. Yeah. All dad songs, bit of like <laughs> Guns N' Roses as well. So Sick. for me, like Slash was a big influence for a while. Okay. Um, like I had a Les Paul cause I was like, oh, I want to be Slash one day um <laughs> one day yeah one day i want to be slash i want to grow long curly hair and wear a top hat Fuck. um yeah and it just sort of yeah it was like that you know so i'd say probably those sorts of bands were like the ones that sort of made me want to start playing guitar i was sort of forced into it to be honest with you really <laughs> my parents were like yeah i was like five okay. my parents were like oh you should learn how to play an instrument. And I was like, yeah, right. And then they got me an acoustic guitar and I was like, oh, this is all right, but it doesn't sound like an electric guitar. I don't like that. So I sort of lost interest for a while and yeah, just sort of, yeah, it was on and off for a little bit. That's strange, man. I feel like every kid that yeah. like is into playing music is like, can you please buy me a guitar? And the parents are like, nah. Yeah, literally. And literally, you're the opposite. Yeah, I was kind of the opposite, like being so young because, yeah, I started playing guitar when I was like when I was about five. Um, So I was really young. I didn't get the concept of like practicing and, you know, um, you know, working on what you're doing because I was just like, oh, I just want to make cool songs, make good riff. Yeah. And um, yeah, it sort of was just a bit all over the place, really. But yeah, so crazy I don't know. and yeah. then from there you're in high school like you obviously have friends that are like have the same musical interests as you yeah yeah so i was um in like that weird group that yeah was like the weird kids at school the little the emo ones. kids the little emo kids i was yeah. the most emo out of all of them checks out um like i had the fucking the fringe and all of that sort of same stuff bro, like i yeah. was yeah proper proper good stuff yeah, yeah. And um, yeah, it was sort of like, uh, I only had a few friends that were like super into that sort of stuff, like that sort of music and whatnot. But, yeah. you know, it was, yeah, like it would be like just a, a whole thing, you know, you'd come to school and they'd be like, oh, Sleeping With Sirens released a new song. <laughs> um, and then it's, it's not as good because it doesn't have Brandon McMaster on it. Yeah. They're soft like, now. Yeah, it's, yeah. oh man. I don't know what's going on with them anymore, but yeah, it was like, oh, mate, it was just an interesting time. But um, yeah, I don't know. I think, um, yeah, I went through that and yeah. So from there, like, are you playing in bands in high school or like, is it when you leave high school that you start playing in bands? 
No, nah, I was playing in bands in high school. Okay. Um, but it was like, you know, fucking um, like good Charlotte covers. <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it was like, it wasn't, yeah, it wasn't like, you know, proper band stuff. But I mean, it was kind of. Yeah. But it was just like, uno memento, por favor. Hang on. What are you doing, mum? I'm on a podcast. Can you please vacate the area? Fucking mum's in town. Thank you. Hi, mum. John says hello. We have never met as long as no. we've known each other. I've never met you. No. I've met <laughs> yeah, your dad. Weird. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Everyone's met my dad. Crowbar. That, met sounded, your dad. that sounded weird. <laughs> that sounded weird. Incredible. <clears throat> yeah. 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 Yeah, but um, yeah, no, so I sort of, yeah, started playing in bands in high school and um, yeah, it was just like good Charlotte covers and like bit of short stack covers and oh, no. um, <laughs> yeah, it was good. Um, yeah, so um, yeah, no, it was good, but I don't know. I just, I think, I think I went, like my head was a little bit too big back then. I was like, oh, I'm so cool. I play in a band. Yeah, every kid's like that though. When you're in a band in high school, you're like, I'm so fucking cool. Yeah, but no one else thought that. No. <laughs> no they were probably like, like, that kid's fucking annoying. Because I feel like I was like that. I was definitely the kid that's like, check out my band on Facebook. Mm. We have no songs out, but we're a band. Oh, bro. The amount of like bands that I would start, yeah. I'd be like, oh, yeah, this is going to be super sick. Yeah. Start a Facebook page and then yeah. absolutely nothing would come from it. Yeah. <laughs> like 100%. uncountable uncountable times that that has happened and they all have like similar names as like every kid's high school band just like yeah the same generic band names like walk yeah. to a kid band names oh yeah yeah you gotta have them what are um, yours? lay them on me <laughs> i had some good ones <laughs> um there was uh i think the, the first iteration of the band name i think it was vortex oh yes that was a that was a good one um and then uh it went to i think it was like fallen or something like that yeah um nice which which obviously we took influence from the shoe brand um but yeah it was um i think it remained as that for a long time actually fallen but we sort of tossed up other ones in between there i can't really remember all of them but that was the one that sort of stuck was um was fallen and i think um you know we did not too bad like we played shows outside of school as well oh fuck um, yeah sick yeah so we used to play um there was like i don't know it's like a fucking festival thing like a mini mini echo thing okay. um over where i used to live and they asked us to play that once and we did that and that was lots of fun was this but there was pre-houseboat yeah. or post-houseboat uh i think this was during <laughs> Oh was, fuck! Yeah, it was it was during that during that period. Fucking I wild! Like, I, I had ambitions of playing on top of the houseboat. Yeah, and I was like, "This would be sick," and then it just never happened. The um, houseboat is still one of my favorite things. I thought that was a joke for so nah, long. And that's nah, fucking well, real. It's so funny. Yeah, well, that's what everyone thought. They were like, "Nah, surely not." And then yeah. you know, I like show them photos, and they're like, "Oh shit." That, it's just so strange. Yeah, it's a <laughs> weird like, thing, right? Like you as a yeah. kid was like growing up on a houseboat. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, my dad was always like into boats and stuff like that. And he's like, this would be cool. You just buy a houseboat. And then they so did. Wild. Yeah. So sick. Sick. Fuck yeah. It. Yeah, I loved it. That's crazy, man. So that happened while you were on the houseboat. Yeah, well, I mean, we didn't because we didn't live on the houseboat full time. Okay, but we used that. We used the houseboat for like you know we'd go on trips pretty often, like part time houseboaters. Yeah, we'd be cool. on it like three weeks over the Christmas period, and then we would fuck off back home. And uh, <laughs> yeah, it's good. Yeah, That's if you so ever, sick. if you ever get the chance, highly recommend a houseboat. But as long as I'm you don't wild. go full, as long as you don't go full gypsy, like it's all right. No. You know? <laughs> so good. Yeah. Okay. So, and then so geez. fallen is a thing. And then when yep. I meet you, you're 19, 18, 19. Yeah. Yeah. And before that, you were in Enslaver. Yes. Yes, I was. I was in that band for a very short period of time. Yeah. Um, that was like my introduction to playing live shows 
as like an adult. Okay. Um, like we played a show down at the Expressive Grounds, I think it was, um, with now the, the now bass player of Diamond Constructs old band. Okay. Um, yeah, he played in another band. I can't remember what they were called. But yeah, we played a show down there and that was pretty interesting. I um, didn't take the time to learn my parts, so <laughs> I was not doing too well. Um, That's fucking wild. Yeah, it was pretty sick. Played a Suicide Silence cover. Had never yep. heard the song before, so I just did <laughs> one zeros the whole time. Yeah, that's all you need, man. Mm. It's just like, zeros in different speeds. Yeah, literally. Um, oh, I can't even remember what song it was. And then we did like a cover of Bloody Recreant as well, um, wow. which was sick. Yeah. And then we played, um, we did a show. So we did the Expressive Grounds on the Gold Coast. And then the next day we did um, the Foundry Coffee yes. Shop when that yep. was a thing. Yeah, yeah. 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 So we did that. And um, yeah, it was cool. Like it was fun. Um, and then, yeah, from there I went into your band. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> at the time and um yeah that's sort of just got the ball rolling really sick well yeah. are you in contact with any of those dudes now from enslaver uh, like from enslaver um yeah. not really okay. um like i've kept contact with the guy that they had playing bass as well um okay. like he's still a good dude he's played in a few of my projects that, that was done. uh connor connor yeah 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 he's yeah, now yeah. doing soul state yeah 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 that's it that's yeah. the one um which yeah i don't know what's going on with that but yeah 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 so yeah he's a good dude cool well i met damien recently oh damien bagara yeah because he's yeah, in he's dissect dude. now yeah fuck they're and sick too they're so sick yeah like he was doing sorry i just took a bloody puff of me vape champion oh, um big vape boy Ugh, yeah, it's not good. It tastes like fucking strawberry up and go. It's disgusting. Yeah, can I but, think of um, the worst flavor of up and go? Up and go tastes like shit, but strawberry yeah. is by far the worst flavor. Oh, it's disgusting. It tastes like fucking. Ugh, it's, yeah, it's not good. But um, yeah, sorry. What was the question? <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about Damien now being in Dice. Yeah. Yes, yeah, because he was doing uh, like a rap. Thing for a while i think he still think. is on the side oh uh, yeah yeah right okay yeah i haven't spoken to him in a while it's been a while since i've seen any of those guys actually he's a good dude he, yeah yeah he uh, yeah very quiet sort of guy yeah but, very quiet yeah no he's a good dude his brother um cam's pretty cool too i'll see but, i have not met him but i met damien <laughs> yeah 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 no cam's a cam's a pretty good dude i think he's a bit older than, than damien okay. but yeah but um, yeah, no, I haven't really kept in contact with any of those dudes apart from yeah, apart from Connor, okay. who's now doing that project that I was in for a bit. Yeah, yeah. And then from really Divide, know. yeah, we do that for like two years. You came in start of the end of 2016, I think. Wasn't yeah, it? yeah, some, something yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah, we did yeah, those Sydney not... shows. Yes, yes. And then you came because. In yeah, I remember actually, because I think I was chatting to you like the week of that Sydney run that you guys were doing. Yeah. Um, and you were like, oh, you should, you know, like, would you be keen to come along? And I was like, oh, fucking, you know, I was like, oh, work, man, person. work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh, fuck, work, you know, wouldn't yeah. be able to. And then I think after you guys got back, that was when it sort of started happening. Yeah. Which... um. Yeah, which was cool. And then we did that first show at the back room and then it just sort of went from there, really. Yeah, fuck yeah. That's wild. I did not know that I was like, do you just want to come? <laughs> like- <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, it was like, it, it wasn't, you know, just straight up, just like, oh, you should come to Sydney, bro. Yeah, it was yeah. like, a, oh, yeah, we're, we're going down to Sydney if you're keen on like tagging along sort of thing. And I was like, oh, you know, I would. But yeah, with work, I just couldn't at that time, That's unfortunately. Wild. Looking back, I wish I did it. Like it would have been very sick. fun. Yeah, from what I heard, yeah, like those car park shows and fucking oh, man. <laughs> all of that crazy, yeah. crazy nonsense. Yeah, it was sick as fun. That's wild. I did not remember that I was like that because at that point, like 
we had not played a show with a guitar player other than Shane more than once. We had a new guitar player every show. Yeah, that's right. Because uh, you had that um, the other guy before me. He was an interesting one, wasn't he? Uh, yeah, fucking if old I mate. Yeah, <laughs> the, yeah. One, the one that I knew from where I used to live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Fuck, yeah. He, he was a lunatic. And then Jared filled in for one show. And then we had yeah. this bodybuilder guy who was just like, I can't do this. And then we we're like, oh, okay. I remember you telling me about him. Yeah. I was like, what do you mean? And Zach was like, he was fucking huge, man. Yeah, I was man, like, he what? was a monster. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like that's just so monster. funny to me. I don't like, I I don't picture a bodybuilder playing guitar. Yeah, <laughs> no, but he had like a like a Schecter Blackjack C one. Oh, yeah, and he was just like best. this staunch ginger, like yeah, super short hair, was wearing like super tight t shirts, and just like yeah. playing our shitty riffs. <laughs> it was sick. <laughs> Yeah, because I, I remember you guys telling me about it. I was like, what the fuck? Like, I imagine, like, Ronnie Coleman or something just sitting there with a fucking guitar just being like, oh, yeah. It was like, it was wild, man. <laughs> yeah, what a time. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah, fuck good you. shit. And then we did yeah. all that for two years. Mm. Didn't end up going the way we wanted. We had a sick couple of EPs lined up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then through no Obviously, fault of our own. Yeah. No, no, not at all. Yeah. Um, yes, we had, yes, a fork in the road, I suppose you could say. <laughs> we'll keep it vague, um, but yeah. yes, we'll keep it, we'll keep it like that. Yeah. Um, but yes, yes, we had a slight setback. Um, <laughs> a slight major setback. A, sl- a slightly major setback. <laughs> yeah. Um, just a little bit inconvenient. Um, and yeah, that sort of, uh, you know, started the downfall. Yeah. Shot her down. Shot her down yeah. like a fucking. I don't know where I was going with that, yeah. but yeah. <laughs> Sick. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, you joined Isla Vera after that, which was formerly Wisher in the Well. Correct. Yes. Correct. Yes. So at the time when I joined, they were the Wisher in the Well. Yeah. Um, and then James sort of said to everyone, he's like, oh, look, you know, we've been a band since 2013 now. Um, you know, Uh, he was just like, I just want to do like a rebrand, change the name um, and sort of go for like a new sort of sound, Mm. which I was kind of like, "Uh, you know, that's cool. Like whatever. I I mean, I've only just joined the band. So whatever you want to do, man. And um, yeah, we sort of, you know, obviously did like the name change and sort of changed the style of the band a little bit, Mm. Um, which, you know, I think the stuff that the Wisher in the Well were doing, like it's very different, you know, like it's not yeah. something that's super like, I don't know. I don't, I don't think it's like super well received in Brisbane per se, but, you know, I think um, the stuff that they were doing prior to, you know, the name change and whatnot, I, you know, I enjoyed that stuff a lot. Like there was yeah. some crazy leads and stuff in those songs. So from memory, it was like a, more like modern metalcore type sound kind of yeah i mean it was a like uh james sort of takes influence from a lot of different things so for him i think it was like you know the best way that i really describe it to people is like uh you know hands like houses sort of yeah yeah that sort of vibe yeah um but yeah it was sort of like a bit of a different sort of thing like suppose that's what you probably would have put it into with that sort of, you know, those sorts of bands. Yeah. Um, but then obviously, yeah, from there we um, released Afterglow and all that sort of stuff and, you know, which is done quite well actually, yeah. surprisingly. Um, well, I say surprisingly, fuck, that sounds bad. But like, <laughs> you know, you, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, from a rebranded band. Yeah. Like changing yeah. its sound could be perceived badly. Exactly. Exactly. And I think um, that was the sort of like thing that I was concerned about is people being like, oh, no, nah, doesn't sound good. Don't yeah. like it. It's too too light. Yeah. Um, but now it's up to like 520,000 streams on Spotify, which is insane. That's sick. Yeah. I don't know okay. how it got to that. It's pretty nuts. I think it's just like that sort of sound is super easy to digest. I think so. So you don't have yeah. to be like 
in the scene properly. Like you could be someone that's a fan of like local music and then your girlfriend likes that style of local music. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's, um, it was certainly different from obviously coming from divide where it was like a lot of like heavier sort of, you know, riff based stuff, yeah. you know, towards the changing, end. Yeah. Yeah. Like changing from that to like, um, you know, lighter sort of more, I suppose you'd go like alternate rock sort of stuff. Like it was very different. Yeah. And, more um, chord based music. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, and James is all about that. Like when we're writing stuff, he's all about big open like chords and, yeah. you know, crazy sounds and stuff like that, which is cool too. Cause I like experimenting with that sort of stuff as well. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. It's very different. I'm still trying to, even after what being in a band for, four years now i think it is or something yeah um like i'm still trying to adapt my writing style to you know the same as what james does but i just can't like his writing skills are nuts i wouldn't sell yourself short you wrote like basically two eps yeah oh yeah and i'm still like crazy shit yeah 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 it's um I mean, I still do that too. Like I'll fucking like, you remember what I used to be like, I'd start a yep. song, I'd send it and then I'd never touch the song again. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was awesome. Yeah. And then we'd have to be like, it. send these to Shane so we can get yeah. them recorded. Yeah. And then it would go to Shane and it would just go from there. We would just like, you know, do whatever it was that we did. Yeah. Um, Demo we, at Empire Studios. Exactly. Yep. Yes. Fuck that, that place. <laughs> Yes. Um, they won't let me book a room there, man. Why? The, apparently they're all booked up. I call them like, hey, you got any rooms? They're like, nah, we're booked. And I'm like, bullshit. <laughs> bullshit. Bullshit, you're booked. Your fucking air condition is a broken to all fuck. You're not booked in summer. Yeah. No, that's why you just go to Neon, man. Uh, neon and Vire. Yeah. Best fucking oh. studios. So good. Like, that's where Isla practices. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's where we were practicing when we were practicing. <laughs> um because that hasn't happened in two years um just pandemic yeah. or like life yeah like bit of both really um okay. yeah like we so we did the the film clip for voices which was the second song that we released yeah um and on that day of us shooting that clip our drama was just like straight up just like nah i, I just don't want to be in the band anymore oh. and we were like well, that's a bit shit. We're about to film a video with fucking Colin Jeffs. Like yeah. you couldn't just like you couldn't just wait. Like <laughs> yeah. And he's Waited like he's like yeah. And he's like oh nah. And we were like yeah, sick. Like <laughs> now we don't have a drummer to be in our video. Yeah. Um, which was great. We had to ask Luke from Awake and I Am to fill in because yeah. he was um doing dead youth at the time and that's who we were signed to yeah i was just gonna ask that yeah so <laughs> and uh yeah it was an interesting one fuck so that's mm. no drama just fucked it all up kind of yeah true. i mean it was like that mixed with covid yeah. and james is like yeah what i was sort of saying earlier james is doing a lot of um like his production stuff now so he okay. records for people and does a lot of like engineering and that sort of stuff, yeah. um, which is handy for us because he mixes some really good good stuff. Yeah, definitely. Um, and yeah, his writing is is good, but yeah, it's just been sort of a mix of different things, really. That being one of them, and um, yeah, fuck. So yeah, it's been I guess a number like, of different- yeah, 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 yeah. I've noticed with like Shokan, so like bringing up keeping your production in house there's uh there's no unforeseeable fork minor f- major forks in the road if it's mm. all in house yeah well that's it like that's the thing that james sort of said as well he's like you know with me sort of getting my skills up in this area it means that it's going to make things easy for us when it comes to recording new music and stuff like Definitely. that which we're starting to do um loosely yeah. Uh, like James has written some pretty cool stuff and I've got some stuff that's sitting there that's pretty much good to go for, you know, demoing and stuff like that. But yeah, yeah he's just very busy, man. 
very busy boy. He's just doing yeah. his thing. So just life gets in the way sometimes, man. Yeah, yeah, it does. <laughs> and um, yeah, the other guitar player, he's doing his own like solo thing as well. So okay, there's a bit bit going on there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So hopefully, mm. new Isla Vera coming soon. Hopefully, sick. Hopefully, yeah. <coughs> he's, um, he's thinking we're, we're probably thinking about February. We're gonna get together and start writing and stuff okay, like that yeah. again. So yeah, once James's um sort of calendar is calmed down a little bit, we'll start getting back into it sick mm. fuck yeah cool well yeah. man we've been going for a bit we'll get into your top five favorite bands of all time oh this is the hardest question it is um i reckon probably bullet would be up there yeah am okay. i rating them or am i just giving no, the top five yeah just top five no particular order it makes it too yeah. hard if it's in order yeah shit i i'd say um yeah, Bullet were definitely in there from the back in the day. Um, architects are in there as well. Obviously, I've got, got them tattooed behind my ear. Oh, um, yeah, so they're pretty up there. Um, I've been really digging Bad Omens lately too. Okay. Um, they're probably taking the spot as being one of my favourite bands at the moment. Fuck yeah. Um, don't know if you've listened to the new album, but it fucking no. rips. I just well, remember them like having it. beef with Amity and I was like... Cool. Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I only just heard about that too. Like I only just really? got into them not long ago. Yeah, apparently they like said something to Amity or some shit about yeah. their name on a poster or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I was like, oh, that's kind of funny, but yeah. <laughs> and then yeah. yeah. Then they but, made a um, shirt out of it. Did they? Yeah, they had bad omens written on a shirt, like super tiny. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, holy fuck. That's- like- yeah, it's fucking gold. Exploiting the beef. Exploiting the beef. Yeah, that's fucking hilarious. I didn't know that. Yeah. That's good to know. Shit, I would have bought one of those shirts if I had known. <laughs> that's funny as. Yeah. But um, yeah, so um, Bad Omens as well. I'd say, oh, shit. You've, you've done me a mischief here. Um, <laughs> oh, fuck. I've not heard that in so long. Mate, I use it probably more than what I should. You used to uh, use it back in the day. You've done me a mischief all the fucking oh, time, man. It's uh, it's my favorite. It's my favorite saying. You know, yeah, I've I done believe myself it. a mischief. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'd say maybe sleep token as well. Okay. Um, sleep token are pretty pretty fucking up there. Dude's voice is just nuts. Yeah. Um, and then. Uh, it's probably not really a band, but you know, as an artist, like and songwriter, Lewis Capaldi is like, oh probably, fuck yes, yeah, he's probably right. pretty up there. Fucking Let's love a bit of Lewis Capaldi. Yeah, Same. he is a fucking yeah. weapon. Oh mate, his like memes and fucking short videos and stuff that he yeah. puts up are hilarious. He's so funny. Yeah, like he was like he did put up one a little while ago, where he's like, so I'm at a hotel. And uh, I don't have any toilet paper. And then he had to like call the hotel concierge to bring him toilet paper because he couldn't wipe his ass or something <laughs> like that. And it was just fucking hilarious. Yeah. Um, he's just one of the boys on like he's, a massive yeah. scale. Oh, it's ridiculous. Like just absolute raw sex appeal with Lewis Capaldi. Yeah, 100%. Um, you know, it's just, it's, it's pure gold all the time. Hell of a fucking songwriter. Oh, crazy songwriter. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, I mean, he's, yeah, I've listened to him for a while. Um, yeah, he's good. He's a good, good bloke. <laughs> top, he's top good. legend, I reckon. <laughs> he's, uh, yeah. So. Sick, man. Probably, yeah. Fuck yeah. Well, do you want to hit socials by Isla Vera and yourself? Um, yeah, I mean, Isla Vera's socials are just... Um, Fuck, hold up. All right. Getting it in live time. Yeah, like, yeah, literally just Isla Vera on on, uh, everything. On everything. Yeah. Sick. That's it. That's all we've got. Fuck yeah. Um, (laughs) Yeah, it's fucking good. Um, Good, Hopefully, we should be releasing new music in the next um, next 10 years, but we'll see. (laughs) Yeah, it'd be nice. All right. It'd be nice. Finally. On our unreleased two EPs, mm. what is your favorite song? 
Oh, oh. I was actually listening to some the other day. I don't um, have them at all. I just have a memory of them. Yeah. Nah, there's some fucking good ones in there, man. I was, um, shit, let me just bring it up. I think I've got most of them. Because you had um, like the originals. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I had some of the ones that um, Buddy, you know, sent through. So um, you got the broken policy, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, so I got some of them. Um, and yeah, I think they were actually from Shane, to be honest. I think Shane had them and sent them through. Oh, stooged um, them off. Yeah. yeah Shane proper, proper stitch up with that yeah. one. Um, but yeah, I reckon, um, oh, what was it called? I think it was called like Scatterbrain or something like that. Yeah. The in that song. That was fucking, we put, was it that one and Searchlights we put in the set in our last two shows? Yeah. No, it was, um, fuck Searchlights, mate. That was a good one. That was a fucking banger. That might be making a reappearance. Um, oh. but yeah. Fuck maybe. yeah. Go on. Potentially. Potentially. Go, Go off then. champion, you know. Yeah. Um, it's a fucking hell of a track. Hard as oh, shit yeah. to play. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. F- still hard for me to play. Yeah. Like I um, <laughs> I started re-recording it the other day, and I was like, "What the fuck? Like, yeah. who does this?" And we were all like, so young then. Like you were like twenty. I was yep twenty two. I was so yep. young. Yeah, it's nuts. It's crazy. But um, yeah, probably that song in like hourglass. Oh, yeah, hourglass. Track. Hourglass was good. I think we ended up adding that one to the to the set. Oh fuck yeah! Uh, yeah. Our set. It was. It was yeah. hourglass. That was the fucking the one that was hat and snare for ages. Yep. And then it was that's like crazy one. roll, and then China breakdown. Yeah. 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 Fuck that's yeah. the one. Oh, yeah, it was good. I fucking was... love that song. Yeah. Uh, I mean, could have done with some more things in it, but it was pretty good nonetheless. It was hard as fuck to play. I'll tell you that right now. Yeah. The memory of it. Yeah. <laughs> it gives you nightmares. That's, it sends me like, you know those Vietnam cat memes? Yeah. That's me. When I think about searchlights and fucking... Viet- Vietnam flashbacks. Raspberry Cordial and whatever the fuck the other ones were called. The 50 Cent yeah. cover even. I'm like, that's hectic. Oh, dude. That out of time almost, drum beat. I almost forgot about the 50 Cent cover. I will never forget about that. That was going to be incredible. I don't know how I did forget about it. It was so good. Even um, it was. the the bit in the end, instead of watch the money pile up, we changed it to watch the bodies pile up. That's right. Yeah. Yes. We were just doing like real metal shit with that song. Fucking hard as shit. Yeah. <laughs> that no, that was sick. so hard. Oh, dude. Even now, even now people would be like, what the yeah. fuck is going on? Yeah. Because like, it was so tough. Yeah. 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 Just riffs the whole time. Yeah. Riffs and fucked fuck up yeah. drums. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> That's literally all it was. Yeah, yeah. Sick, man. Well, this has been fun. It has. It's been good. Thanks for the chat. We'll have to. That's all right. Thanks for having me on. We'll have That's to do right, like bro. a. We'll we'll have to do a group one. You me and you me and Neb. Oh, that was the fucking plan. He's like, I could do next weekend, and mm. I'm like, I'm fucking stressed about. I was so stressed until you messaged me. I was like, holy fuck, because I had one lined <laughs> up today that like didn't happen and i was like oh it comes out tomorrow fuck me like yeah. <laughs> <sick. Yeah. laughs> it's literally nah. why i moved from wednesdays man because you get to like tuesday night and i'm like i don't have a fucking episode oh <laughs> no <laughs> so, yeah not I'm just, good i'm so hopeless with this like i love doing it it's so much fun but i am such a useless cunt yeah you've had some cool people on too hey eh? like, there's gonna be some fucking real cool ones coming up yeah yeah, no, it's good. I've been listening to it a fair bit. Eh? Like I listen to it when I'm at work. Thanks, man. Um, no, I got you, man. It's good shit. Like almost turned into Gareth just then from fucking Tall Poppy. Thanks, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. With these shit. little fucking short pants. Yeah, and he's like slides. <laughs> and his misses that look like him. Yeah. What? The, yeah. Fuck. What a time. I remember that. <laughs> oh, that fuck, was... man. Those are the days. Yeah, Tall Poppy was a sick studio, but those people that ran it was so weird. Yeah, I think I, we had we had definitely um, scratches the surface a little bit. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, but now that now it's closed. Yeah, it's shut down. Yeah, 
I think on Wade's episode, he like went into details as to why they closed. And I was like, holy fuck. <laughs> like, sick. Is there like a proper... I think you he know, just he, owed people some money and then like oh. didn't pay him and then yeah. started selling shit on marketplace. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Brisbane well, yeah. shit. Yeah, Brisbane music shit. It's good. Yeah. It's the Classic. it's the best. It's the best. Simply it's, the best. It's what I love. Yeah. No, it's good. <laughs> it's the it best. Is. Yeah. I love it. Well, fuck yeah. Thanks, man. That's all right, man. Thanks for having me on. It's all good. Done for another week. Huge thanks to Zach. A fucking G. Yeah, huge thanks to Zach. What a fucking legend. That is probably the most fun one I've had on the fly in a while. Like, I have my regular questions, but it was just like two friends catching up. And I hope that's how it comes across. I genuinely hope that that's how it comes across. It's like two friends that haven't seen each other in a bit. We did it over Zoom. So if we did it in person, it'd probably be even more like chaotic. But over Zoom, two friends sitting down having a chat that we haven't spoken in a fair while. Especially like, like we message each other and stuff, but like we haven't actually had like a proper conversation in a like in a while. So it was good to catch up with him. Really miss him. Go check out Isla Vera wherever you listen to music. Go check him out on Instagram and Facebook and Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube, wherever the fuck you listen. Check him out. And if you like what I'm doing over here with the podcast, please, I'm fucking begging you, share it. Tell a friend, subscribe, follow it, wherever the fuck you listen to podcasts. Um, I put up all the YouTube uh, clips, not clips, the episodes. on. I put up all the episodes on YouTube again. Um, I missed out on the last seven, so I spent an entire day. Um, doing all of them in order so that if you listen on YouTube, you can listen to all of them on YouTube again. Um, but yeah, share the podcast. That's literally how this thing grows is by you sharing it. And it has been growing in since the last episode I put out with infinite exile. I've reached a thousand audio only downloads. I reached a thousand a while ago because the YouTube sitting around 300, but, uh, audio only. A th- over a thousand we're almost at 1100 now which is fucking crazy to me that when i started this i didn't expect for people to listen um i hoped that people would listen but i didn't expect them to and the amount of people that have listened and that's just really fucking sick so thank you um but yeah please share it tell a friend even if they don't like heavy music quickly just one little last thing this weekend coming um the 5th of february I am filling in for isolation. I'm playing guitar in isolation for one day. Uh, we are playing the Black Box Theatre in Nambour uh, on the Sunshine Coast. And it is alongside Kid Presentable, Trench Knife, Burn in Hell, Isolation, World of Joy. So it's all ages. Bring your friends, bring your fam. Fucking tell your friends. Come back next week for a new episode. Thanks. If you've got a business, you need a website. And what's the best way of get a website up and running? Choose a website hosting company that makes it simple, like Pair Networks. Pair has over 20 years of experience managing the entire digital ecosystem for thousands of online businesses all around the world. Pair makes it easy for you with do-it-yourself website building tools and features, including simple drag-and-drop page design. And they have guaranteed US-based support technicians ready to help whenever you need it, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Right now, when you sign up with Pair Networks, works you'll receive one free month of website hosting see for yourself how easy it is to build your website for free visit pair.com slash free to get your first month of website hosting for free by using the code quickstart that's pair.com slash free promo code quickstart to get started today